Every organization that is engaged in production, sale or trading of products holds inventory in one or the other form. While production and manufacturing organizations hold raw material inventories, finished goods and spare parts inventories, trading companies might hold only finished goods inventories depending upon the business model. When in case of raw material inventory management function is essentially dealing with two major functions. First function deals with inventory planning and the second being inventory tracking. As inventory planners, their main job consists in analyzing demand and deciding when to order and how much to order new inventories. Traditional inventory management approach consists of three models namely. Number 1, Economic Order Quantity Model, in short EOQ model. Number 2, Continuous Ordering Model. And Number 3, Periodic Ordering Model. First let's discuss the EOQ model. Economic order quantity method determines the optimal order quantity that will minimize the total inventory cost. EOQ is a basic model and further models developed based on this model include production quantity model and quantity discount model. We will discuss in details about economic order quantity model with a simple mathematical example in this video so it will be more clear. Then we have the continuous order model. This model of inventory management works on fixed order quantity basis where a trigger for fixed quantity replenishment is released whenever the inventory level reaches predetermined safety level and triggers reordering. And finally, the periodic system model. This model works on the basis of placing order after a fixed period of time. Now as we have said earlier, let's discuss the economic order quantity model with a mathematical example. The problem states that, Biotech Corporation produces chemicals to sell to wholesalers. One of the raw material it buys is sodium nitrate which is purchased at the rate of $22.50 per ton. Biotech's forecasts show an estimated requirement of 575,000 tons of sodium nitrate for the coming year. The annual total carrying cost for this material is 40% of acquisition cost and the ordering cost is $595. We have to find out. What is the most economical order quantity? We already know that, economic order quantity, EOQ, is the ideal order quantity a company should purchase to minimize inventory costs such as holding costs, shortage costs, and order costs. The formula for calculating economic order quantity is written as, economic order quantity, EOQ, equals to, root over, 2, multiplied by, the annual demand, D, multiplied by, the ordering cost, S, divided by the carrying cost, C. So, let's see what information we already have in the question. Here we have the annual demand of 575,000 tons. The annual total carrying cost for this material is 40% of acquisition cost. Here we have the acquisition cost or purchasing cost of $22.50 per ton. So, 40% of this acquisition cost is our carrying cost for this material per unit. Thus, the carrying cost, C, equals to, 40% of the acquisition cost of $22.50 per ton, which gives a carrying cost of $9 per ton per year. And, the last thing we need is the ordering cost, which is given directly in the question that the ordering cost is $595 per order. Putting all these values in our equation we get, economic order quantity, EOQ, equals to, root over, 2, multiplied by, the annual demand of 575,000 tons, multiplied by, the ordering cost of $595 per order, divided by the carrying cost of $9 per ton per year, which gives us the economic order quantity of approximately 27,573.135 tons per order. So, now we have done the calculation, but what does it mean by economic order quantity of 27,573.135 tons per order? It means that, if an order of 27,573.135 tons of sodium nitrate are made per order, it will minimize inventory costs such as holding costs, shortage costs, and order costs, and thus be the most economic decision for biotech corporation for inventory management of this material. Now, 
This model of economic order quantity presupposes certain assumptions. It assumes that there is no safety stocks available in inventory. It assumes that there is no shortages allowed in order delivery. The demand is at uniform rate and does not fluctuate. The lead time for order delivery is constant. It assumes that one order is equal to one delivery where no shortages are allowed. This model does not take into account other costs of inventory such as stock out cost. Acquisition cost eats it to calculate the AUC. In this economic order quantity model, the demand increases for production the inventory gets depleted. When the inventory drops to a critical point the reorder process gets triggered. New order is always placed for fixed quantities. On receipt of the delivery against the order the inventory level goes up. Using this model, Further data extrapolation is possible to determine other factors like how many orders are to be placed in a year and what is the time lapse between orders etc. This model is also used to determine the order size and the production lot for an item to be produced at one stage of production and stored as work in progress inventory to be supplied to the next state of production or to the customer.